Well, maybe what we can do... Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to pass here and then we'll figure it out later. Uh, I'm just prone, maybe. Alright, so what do we do when we shoot? Um, I guess we're going to need some sort of projectile sprite, so let's have a look at what's available. Missiles. We don't really want them to be missiles, but maybe that's just what we put in for now. I like the big chunky ones. I kind of want something that's a little just simpler and round. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I gotta do this. I'm just gonna do this. I know it's silly, but I know I should be building a game, but I want to make this particle for our players. Uh, oh no, okay, actually, no, that, that won't work. I wanted to make like sort of shooty jets behind the player, but we can do that later. We don't even have, uh, this isn't even final uh, assets, so there's no point, is there? That's gonna be fun, so. Okay, so we could sort of shoot these like circle y things. They're supposed to be uh, windows, but. I think the reason why it might be better to have the missile is that it's obvious because of the shape which direction it's going. So let's just use that then. <clears throat> okay. So inside, maybe we should have something separate for projectiles. I kind of like keeping them under the player for ownership. We'll see. Let's call this missile with two eyes. Yep, okay, and let's have a look if we go into the player scene and then uh let's just Oh let's just create the projectile scene first. So let's create a new scene and it is gonna be a missile. And what do we want this to be? This is going to be a kin a rigid body thing. Rigid body. Yeah. All right. And now what we want to do is we want to create a sprite underneath this. Oh no, we need a collision shape first. So we can add a collision shape 2D and that of course needs a shape which we will add once we add the sprite. So let's add a sprite in here. And from the resource panel just let's drag in that texture 
and we have our sprite. Uh, I'm wondering if this center should be zero, the origin, or whether we should move the origin to be the tip. I guess not, no. <clears throat> okay, now that we've got the sprite in place, uh, we can now quite happily add our capsule shape. And let's give it maybe half that radius. I'm just going to bring the collision shape on top so we can actually see the damn thing. And what will the height be? Maybe 30? 35? Yeah, I kind of like 35, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shift that up slightly to be more on the nose. Okay, cool. So we now have our basic uh, missile. So then... Oh, in fact we can do something with this rigid body. Is we can just say that the uh, gravity scale is quite small. And we can apply a force permanently to consider it just going upwards. That might be a bit... No, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so, so basically like this, this rocket will always have its own propulsion regardless of what we do in the code. So that, will, that should, I think, simplify our code. And then that means that we, when we shoot, we just want to create a missile. Oh yeah, let's one thing I forgot as well is under the collision we need to define our layer so we've got on layer one is the player other players the environment collectibles player chain other players chains and here layer seven is going to be projectiles and we need to name that so that for posterity Um, that's going to be under 2D physics layer names, and we'll call layer 7 projectiles. And put all that, save the scene. And then we hover over layer 7. We won't see the name update until we uh, reload Godot, I think. Alright, so what can this projectile run into? Well, it can't run into the player. This player is the one that shot it. I think. Okay, later on we will let it loop it round and hit the player, but for now it's simpler to just say nope. It can hit other players. It can hit the environment. It's not going to hit the collectibles. Uh... I don't think we'll make it hit the player's chain. It can definitely hit other players' chains, and it can definitely hit other projectiles. Right. Cool. And now when the player shoots, we just need to instantiate and create an instance of one of these projectile type objects. So, in fact, it's, yeah, it's going to be at the player level. The on ship shoot. Let me go over here. On ship shoot, what are we going to do? Well, first of all, uh, we need to preload the missile scene. So here we're going to say the const missile is equal to preloaded resource of player 
projectiles missile dot text then and then whenever we create a whenever we shoot we say var missile is equal to missile dot instance and then we say missile dot position is equal to the ship position and the missile rotation is it equal to the ship rotation and then we say add child missile to eyes now let's see if that has any semblance of working not quite i mean it it, it kind of works but there's not really any propulsion happening there and the missile is quite facing the wrong direction uh, and that's because the player is facing the wrong direction I never fixed this, but I probably should. Probably should have a long time ago. Okay. So let's uh, take the player and rotate sprite, I guess. Right, one eighty. And then, when we look at the ship, I guess we just need to change the vectors. So left. Um, I mean, we could just interesting. Why is that kinematic body? Uh, yeah, we don't need that log anymore. Process velocity, handle movement and collisions, so move and collide. Okay. So in the dough, the dough rotation zero. I mean, we could just start. Hold on. We, we could just set the initial rotation to 90. Seems really wrong. None of that's rotated. Oh, what's that mean? Hmm. 